Today I'm going to be answering your assumptions about me because I had a huge alternative style video planned for today, but I'm really tired and I have deadlines, so this is what you're getting instead. I put this up on my Instagram story last night, so these have been trickling in over the past 12 hours. Um, let's get started. You're very clumsy. I'm just going to let this play to answer that. Yeah. <laughs> Even though you're tall, you're not great at sports. Bang on. Uh, so I am 5'10", for the people who don't know my height. Um, although I'm not sure if there's any correlation between height and being good at sports, unless it's basketball. But no, I'm terrible at sports. I was in the F team for netball. If that doesn't say at all, I really don't know what will. You can do a backflip off your bed. No, for two reasons. Uh, firstly, there is no space off my bed. And secondly, if we go back to that clumsy point, I'm so uncoordinated, there'd be absolutely no hope for me. So no, no, I can't do that. You hate sushi. No, how dare you? I love sushi. I make a huge, huge fan of Japanese culture. So I, I love, I love their food as well. Your favourite food is curry. I don't do spice very well, so my go-to curry is a prawn korma. I know I'm going to be judged for that big time. My favourite food area is probably Japan, France and Italy. I feel like you drink Captain Morgan's. No, I don't drink. I haven't had any alcohol in three and a half years. I don't think I ever will again. But when I did drink, I was much more of a Pimm's drinker, to Serrano, Mojito, not really any rum. Although something I'm sad I never got to try is Fireball and Apple Juice. It smells amazing. It smells like Christmas. You were fun to hang around with. Thank you. I mean, interestingly, despite not drinking, I would shamelessly get up on an empty dance floor completely sober. So I'd like to think I'm fun in some senses of the word. You like dark vibes, but still prefer a warm sunny day to a gloomy one. Absolutely. Summer goth is definitely a vibe, although it's meant to be winter right now and I'm struggling in the seats already as it is. So I do have my limits. But I definitely find it easier to dress for summer, especially when I don't have to cover up a look with a massive coat. You're a Capricorn. Close, but no cigar. I'm six days off being a Capricorn, but I'm actually an Aquarius. You're very temperamental. I don't think I am. I think I'm quite a rational, calm person. But if you are anything of sexist, racist, homophobic, transphobic, any of that, I will go off. You have never been hypnotised. This is weirdly specific and even more weirdly correct. I had a hypnotist come to my school when I was a teenager and he had a bunch of us volunteers get on the stage to be hypnotised and he did a first test which was going to cull people that you just can't easily hypnotise. Uh, and I was one of them, unfortunately. I really wanted to be hypnotised, but I uh, I couldn't be, apparently, so who knows. People think you have a resting bee face. Thank you for censoring for YouTube. Uh, but you're actually a lovely human being. Number one, thank you. That's very sweet. Uh, two, I hope that's true, because I know I... If you see me on a night out, I am standing six foot four high with my heels on, and I will just be looking around like this. <sighs> but then as soon as you talk to me, yeah, my friends joke that I'm actually like a, a squishy little cinnamon roll. I couldn't hurt a fly, apparently. Or at least I don't think I would. That went by really quickly, maybe I should have saved some more to answer. But if you do want me to do more of these in future, please let me know. Otherwise, please come back in a few days for my review of Black Milk's second Pokemon collection. Ah! I'm so excited to show you guys what I've got and to style it. It's gonna be delicious. Okay, bye.